Graphene and carbon nanotubes CNTs, are both allotropes of carbon, which means they are different structural forms of the same element. Both materials have unique properties that make them desirable for a variety of applications, including electronics, energy storage, and composites. Graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. It is the thinnest material in the world, with a thickness of just one atom. Graphene is incredibly strong, flexible, and conductive, making it an ideal material for electronic devices. It also has a high surface area, which makes it useful for applications in energy storage and water filtration. CNTs are cylindrical tubes of carbon atoms, with diameters ranging from a few nanometers to several micrometers. They can be single-walled or multi-walled, depending on the number of layers of carbon atoms. Like graphene, CNTs are strong, flexible, and conductive. They also have a high aspect ratio, which makes them useful for reinforcing materials. CNTs have been used in composites, sensors, and electronics. In terms of their properties, graphene and CNTs have some similarities and some differences. Here are some key points to compare and contrast similarities. Both materials are made of carbon atoms. Both materials are strong, flexible, and conductive. Both materials have a high surface area to volume ratio. Both materials have potential applications in electronics, energy storage, and composites differences graphene is a 2D material, while CNTs are 1D materials graphene has a higher surface area to mass ratio than CNTS CNTS have a higher aspect ratio than graphene graphene is easier to produce in large quantities than CNTS CNTS have been used more extensively in composite materials than graphene overall. Both graphene and CNTs are fascinating materials with unique properties that make them useful in a variety of applications. By understanding the similarities and differences between these two materials, we can better appreciate their potential and explore new ways to use them in the future.